how we make Arabic coffee at our house. Yeah. Uh, I wish it wasn't in plastic, but surprise, surprise, my parents bought it, so. Uh, so today, I am finally, finally, finally gonna share with you my mom's uh, recipe for Arabic coffee. So we're gonna make it from scratch. I'm gonna roast the coffee here. Uh, I'm gonna show you alternative methods to roasting it at home. And then we're gonna make the coffee. Uh, it's really easy, it's really simple. Uh, and your entire house is gonna smell like mm, the coziest place on this planet. So I just plugged this in and now we are ready to start roasting. I could add a little bit more. Okay. We're just gonna cover it and let it do its thing. Uh, we're gonna roast this for about 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, depends on your machine. Some machines are, you could say, weaker, so they would take up to 40 minutes. But at the end, you just want it to reach the desired color that you like. To save up on time, I have coffee that's already roasted because freshly ground coffee it's better not to grind it right away. So I just want you to see the difference in color between the fresh or like raw coffee beans and the roasted ones. So different parts in Saudi Arabia do their coffee a little bit different. Some people add different spices. Some people like their coffee. Whoa! Some people like their coffee roasted um, a little bit lighter. But usually at home we roast it until to this to this degree. It smells so good. I don't know. So you want it to be somewhat coarse. Yeah. Oh my god, it smells so good. I really, really wish I could add smell to video. Uh, it doesn't smell like the typical black coffee, just something else. So yeah, now we're ready to make the coffee. So the secret to a good Arabic coffee is to first mix the saffron, about eighth of a teaspoon of saffron with some room temperature water. The saffron just gives it a very nice color and a fragrant, uh, fragrant and a very a, a tiny hint of sweet in the coffee. So I'm just gonna mix it with a little bit of room temperature water and then we're ready to put it here. So I usually use something bigger to make the coffee in, but I thought this would look better. But it's not very efficient, apparently. Okay, so I'm gonna balance. Anyways, this is good. When the water bubbles aggressively, that's when we're gonna add the coffee. And then we're gonna let it cook for 10 minutes. Okay, so this is the most dangerous part of making this coffee because sometimes it spills over. So that's why I'm gonna use this wooden spoon. So immediately, just so when it boils over, it hits the spoon and goes down. Uh, you can do this trick also when making pasta. It's just cooking 101. It's so pretty. So while we wait, just some light yoga. Uh, Razan behind the camera filmed me before uh, doing yoga, so just repeating the past. Oh, my hair is getting longer though. So now we have like about three minutes left and the coffee will be ready. So we're just gonna prepare the coffee tray. So Arabic coffee is usually served with dates. These are sukkiri dates and obviously they are my favorite. And then these are fresh dates. They're crispy and sweet and they, they leave it a dry aftertaste. A lot of people love them, but for me, these are my favorite. And then a cup for the coffee. And we're gonna serve it with some traditional Saudi dessert. 
These are called ma'mul. They are filled with dates. They're made with just wheat and some kind of fat. <laughs> it is really hot right now. That's why I keep fixing my hair. But the good news is that I got a new mic. Um, so the sound quality is gonna be 10 times better and it's gonna be worth turning off the AC. Anyway, so the other dessert that we're gonna use today, uh, these are called keja. Uh, sometimes they're not vegan, but these are vegan because they're made with olive oil. They're filled with uh, date molasses and some spices from the inside. They're really hard to make from scratch, so that's why I've never attempted to make them, but they're really good. Uh, they used to be my favorite when I was in high school. Yeah, the, now the coffee is ready, so we're just gonna turn it off. And then we're just gonna let it set for about two minutes, um, just so the coffee grounds go to the bottom and they don't have a nasty effect in your mouth. So now we're gonna add a little bit of cardamom, ground cardamom to the tiramist or we call this dalla. I don't know what's called in English. I don't think it has a name in English, but the closest thing would be a thermist. So now the coffee is ready, but my grandma would let us wait for at least 10 minutes. So the coffee really sets, but I'm impatient only when it comes to coffee. So now it's ready to be served. It's considered disrespectful to fill to fill up the coffee cup to the to the top because it means that you don't want to keep pouring coffee for, to the person. Um, for younger people, it's okay, but the elders get really offended if you do that. Um, I've gotten so many. I, I I don't know what the word, but like a lot of elders in my family like would be like. What, do you want me to swim in it or something like that? Because I fill it up because, yeah, I actually don't want to keep pouring coffee for them. The color is just perfect. So Razan doesn't like Arabic coffee, but she does want to try this one because it smells so good. Thank you. Uh -huh. So this is how we make Arabic coffee at our house. Um, Every home in Saudi Arabia does it differently and this is how I like it and you guys asked me to share it with you so I wanted to share it. I just wanted to mention that some people add um, different spices with their coffee. Some people add uh, ground ginger to the coffee, some people add cloves to their coffee. A lot of people ask me what is this for when I put it in my tray. This is for the date pits. Caramel could be a fruit, it would be dates. Oh, usually we dip them in tahini, but I forgot to add tahini. Okay, a quick thing before we end this video, uh, don't throw away your coffee ground leftovers. I usually just put these in a plate until they dry out. Wow, I made a mess, obviously. And then we're just gonna cover it with oil. Sometimes I add cinnamon to this just to make it smell even nicer. And then you just want the coffee to absorb the oil. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. I hate ending my video. Yes, alhamdulillah. Yay! Yeah. Just when it comes to LA? Yeah. LA, Anna? For. Whoa, it's really hot. <laughs>